Alright guys, so I'm going to switch gears a little bit. We're going to look at the Surface Laptop Studio and find out what the deal is with its GPU. Now according to the Microsoft Mechanics video, it's a up to 50 watt uh, GPU and I was able to validate that uh, in my results. It seems that the lowest, uh, it seems like it's, it's it could be correctly categorized as a 40 watt with 10 watts of turbo boost. Uh, I don't know, I mean, that's that's me talking based on what I'm seeing. Um, and just to put that in perspective a little bit, um, there are some 3050 Ti laptops that go up to, you know, 80 watts, and they're much more powerful. And there are some, like uh, this device here, the ROG Flow, which is also a 3050 Ti, and it has only a 35 watt with five watt boost uh, up to 40 watt, so it's a 35 to 40 watt um, GPU. But the Surface Laptop Studio is not bottom of the barrel 3050 Ti, it actually is a 40 watt with 10 additional watts to boost to 50, which it does do if the CPU is not being pressed super hard. Um, and pretty consistently you see it in the high 40s to 250s. Uh, so that's good to see. Um, GA107, uh, if we look at it, only four gigabytes of VRAM. Um, so a step down from the 1660 Ti that was in the Surface Book 3. Uh, but if we look at the Time Spy score uh, on graphics, 4522, uh, the ROG X13 uh, stock uh, does 4168 so it obviously you would expect the 40 to 50 watt GPU to be faster than the 35 to 45 watt GPU so but what I also want to talk about is what can we do to improve performance so uh, let's go ahead and take a look at uh, MSI Afterburner now if you've got an Nvidia card you can easily boost performance and uh, one of the things that uh, I've noticed so far in interacting with the Surface Laptop Studio is at least at this point in time, the firmware seems to have the graphics card wide open for overclocking. I, the memory slider goes all the way to 2000. Uh, so I have seen, uh, it can actually go, I found a good value, like if you just wanted to set it and forget it, I'd go like a, you know, 600 to 750 for like just an overall, you know, just daily driver. But if you want to really play with it, I've found that it's pretty stable up to a thousand on mine. Yours may be different. And the core clock up to 200. Uh, in fact, I have I think it only started Artifact once I had 250, but we're gonna drop it to 200 and 1000. So let's see how much that improves our time spy score because we just got a 4588 and let's see how much higher it can go by pushing the graphics card just a little bit more. Okay, so that's with some tweaks. Um, it may be interesting to, I, I've seen some reviews have much higher numbers than these without tweaking it, so I'm not quite sure what's going on there. There was a new firmware update that, that installed. I don't know if Microsoft's toned things down a little bit potentially, uh, but I'll keep an eye on that. But suffice to say that 5025 is better than the Surface Book 3 with the 1660 Ti. So um, while it's very, very close, uh, this 3050 is a better GPU than the 1660 Ti overall. Um, there's a few instances where the 1660 Ti beats it out, but in general, the, the utility of ray tracing, uh, the new features that come with the new architecture are well worth your upgrade. So if you're coming from a Surface Book 3, you 
don't have to feel bad moving to this, although you shouldn't expect to have that much of an increase in performance. In fact, you'll see only slight performance increases. So this is a bit of an issue. Uh, you get a can't run mixed reality when you first boot up. Uh, so we'll have to take a look at that. So it turns out you're able to bypass the first check uh, using a registry key setting. It's a uh, HK current user software, Microsoft Windows current version holographic. First run succeeded, you change that to one and then it does load. Uh, but we'll have to see how it actually performs. Okay, so now we're going to give the Quest 2 a shot using the Oculus link cable. And we'll see how well it works in those Thunder, Thunderbolt 4 ports. Okay, so the Quest does work with caveats because like the Surface Book, it comes up with an error and says, that it can't start VR applications due to some hardware issues. Um, but if you just click OK to that and continue to uh, just load Steam VR from your desktop, you can play any of your Steam VR games, even though the Oculus games won't seem to work. Um, you can use um, a third party application to make uh, those uh, Oculus games load through Steam and they'll work that way. Uh, but check it out. I have my Quest on and it's working on the studio, laptop studio. And I will say that it almost seems like it's running just, that's my frame rate. My frame rate, it may have lowered the resolution a little bit. But uh, it's running a consistent 72 right here. So it looks pretty good. So no issues running Steam VR games on the Surface Laptop Studio with an Oculus Quest 2. Okay, one last thing to note for the Surface Laptop Studio uh, GPU and what its deal is, is it comes with 462.59 uh, driver. Uh, Windows did an update right when I turned this machine on and I tried to install the latest driver and it says it's not compatible with this version of Windows. I think that's a Windows 11 problem, but just so you know, you will be stuck on 462.59 for now until uh, a new driver releases. So um, if you've heard anything different than that, let, uh, let me know in the comments. But uh, hopefully this little video was useful for you making a decision on whether the Laptop Studio is going to do what you want it to do. So thanks for watching. Talk to you later.